Hi everyone, I'm Kirsten, and here's my video biography for the book The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. Firstly, we have the anatomy of the book. This is a paperback or soft cover book. Here we start off with a half title, then we move on to the full title page. We've got the copyright page on the left side and the dedications on the right. I found this a bit odd, but this edition seems to have two half titles before we get to the preface. Now we can move on to the text block. As you can see, the leaves of the book are in a decent condition. The bibliographic identity of the book. Which edition is it? As I was researching which edition copy I had, I found that it was a first edition. However, it's not a true first edition as this copy was reprinted in the C format or trade paperback for the Australian public by Griffin Press. This is a larger version of the paperback book, which is also a higher quality standard than the smaller A or B formats. The physical dimensions of the book are 15.2 centimeters wide and 23 centimeters long. It was originally published by Little Brown in both the United States and United Kingdom in June of 2005 and is 642 pages long. Now we come down to the history of the book, the condition and the marks of ownership. As you can see, the front cover has a crease as well as some fraying on the edges. The spine of the book also has a crease, although the book is in quite a good condition. There are no dog-eared marks on any of the leaves of the book and there is a small mark of ownership. This is on the back cover of the book, marked in pencil, the initials L.Y. And with that, we'll move on to the personal history of the book. Where did I get it, and where is it stored? Well, I received the book from my sister. The initials are hers, and she got the book when it first came out, back in 2005. Both my sister and I enjoy reading books of the mystery genre. As we both have a similar taste in books, we share our books, and they're all stored in the one place on our bookshelves, which has definitely started to run out of space. We're both quite cautious of how we handle and store our books, which is why the historian is in a pretty good condition, considering my sister has read the book quite a few times over the years. I myself have not actually completed the book yet. So far I've enjoyed the book and I'm looking forward to completing it. As I've already said, it belonged to my sister and it's quite a new book, so I don't really have any personal history towards it, other than the fact that it's my sister's book. Number 5, the reception of the book, popularity and sales numbers. Through my research, I found that the historian had quite a welcoming reception. In its first week alone, it made the New York Times bestseller list and sold nearly 1 million copies in two months in the United States alone. Although I had trouble finding any statistics for sales in Australia alone, it seemed that the book did pretty well. The book was also nominated and won awards such as the Hopwood Award for Novel in Progress, the International Horror Guild Award for Best Novel, and was awarded the Best Adult Fiction by BookSense in 2006. Kostova's book made it on the bestseller list for many popular companies such as Amazon.com, BookSense, Barnes & Noble, and also the New York Times. Sony had even bought the film rights to the novel even before its publication in 2005. From the reviews I've looked at, there seemed to be a mixed opinion about the book. On the one hand, there were many reviews saying that the book was well written and the mix of history and thriller and other genres were tied well together. Some also said the book was suspenseful and in-depth. But there are also many reviews rating it one star, mostly saying that the book was way too long and that they had trouble reading through to the end. So far I'm only 120 pages into the book and I'm still finding it enjoyable to read, so hopefully this will last. And there you go, that was my video biography for the book The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova.